So welcome back to today's class where we are going to be looking at study session 5 uh, titled uh, Word uh, Processing. So the learning outcomes uh, for this study session include uh, use word processing software such as uh, the one from Microsoft Word you know, to create and format uh, test uh, documents, procedures for how to insert images and tables, Use formatting tools, you know, to check spelling and grammar. Learners should also be able to save, print, and share documents in various uh, formats. So, as a way of introduction, uh, word processing uh, refers to the creation, you know, editing, formatting, storage, and output of documents, primarily text, uh, using computer uh, software, just like the one we are going to be looking at, uh, that's the Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft Word uh, processor. So this unit gives uh, an overview of word processing and then the different word processing uh, tools that the user can use to, you know, create and format, uh, you know, documents. So overview of word processing application. So the word processing software is, uh, of course, it's a computer program, you know, that enables users to create, you know, edit and format text documents. So it provides various tools for formatting text, uh, such as font styles, you know, sizes, uh, colors, alignment, and uh, spacing, among others. It also offers advanced features like insertion of images, tables, and other graphical uh, elements, thereby enhancing document readability. So key features include test entry, uh, formatting, editing, uh, grammar, and spelling check, inclusion of non-text elements, templates, printing, publishing, and real-time you know, collaboration. So creating and formatting test documents, to create and format a test document in a, in a typical Microsoft Word uh, software, uh, the first thing you need to do is to open the software, uh, you know, launch the software, and then create a new document, just like uh, we can see in the figure. Uh, and then uh, following uh, the user typing uh, the text. So uh, you can use tools like the uh, font uh, style, you know, the font size, bold italic, underline, uh, alignment, line spacing, bullets, numbering, and uh, indentation to, you know, style uh, the text. So uh, the user can also use these tools to emphasize text, align it to different positions, you know, adjust uh, line spacing, create lists with bullets or numbers, and then indent, uh, you know, the paragraph. So to insert an image, table, or other graphical element into a text document in word processing software, so uh, typically you want you you will have to position your cursor, you know, and then select the insert uh, you know tab or menu option, and then choose the type of element, and then provide uh, additional information like file selection or table uh, number. So once the element is inserted, uh, you can format it using available uh, tools within the uh, software uh, application or within the software GUI as the graphical uh, interface, graphical user uh, interface. So checking spelling and grammar. So to check spelling and grammar in a word processing uh, program uh, like Microsoft Word, first you have to open the document, you know, click on the uh, review tab and then find the spelling and grammar button in the proofing uh, section. So click on the button to start the checking process. If an error is found, the program will suggest uh, a correction and you can accept or ignore or make your own uh, you know, correction as the case may be. So the program may also flag uh, correct corrections to be added to the dictionary. Saving, printing, and sharing of documents. So to save, uh, print, or share a document in Word processing, so you uh, a user can click on File tab, you know, select Save or Save As, 
or and then choose a location name and file type so the default is uh, the docx and then uh, depending on what you click and then you click uh, save to save uh, the file name to save the file rather printing a document so uh, similarly to print a document so the user will have to click uh, on the file tab in the programs ribbon at the top of the screen and then uh, you will navigate and then click on print and then uh, depending on the printers the user have installed in the system you choose a printer and then uh, an active printer and then adjust any print settings if you need any such as the number of copies or the page uh, range or in some cases you want to uh, you know print an entire page and then click print to uh, print uh, the document as desired and then uh, also the procedure for sharing a document uh, similarly you click on file uh, tab in the programs ribbon at the top of the screen and then uh, you navigate to share you click on share or export or you can even do uh, save as and then choose the way you want to share the document such as by email or uploading it to a cloud uh, you know, services and then you follow the prompts to complete uh, the process so in summary of study session five we're able to uh, you know, establish that word processing involves uh, you know, creating, uh, editing, and formatting text documents using software like Microsoft Word. So there are other uh, word processing uh, applications, so like uh, Google Docs you know, or even Apple uh, Pages. So it tend to allow users to create professional looking documents uh, with font styles, formatting tools, and graphical uh, elements. So error-free documents can be saved, uh, you know, printed uh, or shared electronically, as the case uh, may be. So uh, self-assessment questions for study session five. Uh, for SAQ 5.1, the question is demonstrate how to print the document in word processing. SAQ 5.2, mention any five steps in checking spelling in word processing. SAQ 5.3 demonstrate how to insert an image into a document in word uh, processing. 